So, and another important thing I want you to remember from today is uh, the relation between uh, B12 deficiency and MMA. And I don't mean MMA as mixed martial arts, but uh, methyl malonic acid. So th this explanation, the heading of this explanation is that you're going to remember why when there is B12 deficiency, you can look for increased MMA levels, which means methyl malonic acid. And uh, there are two things I want to mention. First, I want to stress the, 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 the importance of B12 in the metabolism of pyrimidine derivatives. So, so metabolism of pyrimidine derivatives. And basically over here, I want you to remember that B12 have a crucial role in transforming uridine. And all of you remember that uridine is nothing else than uridine. There's nothing than than uracil with the ribose. And the change of uridine to thymidine. And thymidine is nothing else than thymine plus ribose. And <clears throat> This this change, this conversion, is done by tetrahydrofolates, so folates. But to make THF, you need B12, okay? And uh, B12 makes it from D-methyl tetrahydrofolate. So demethylation is important process, which is, uh, and where the B12 is crucial. And I need normal levels of B12 to have normal levels of THF to normally convert uridine to thymidine. And in case I don't have B12, I won't have enough of THF. And that's why I will have also decreased production of thymidine. And that's why I'm going to have decreased production of DNA. You see this relation? That's why I'm going to have megaloblastic anemia and neurological symptoms, etc. So, but uh, remember the megaloblastic anemia. So, so, so this is why B12 is, uh, or the relation with B12 deficiency and megaloblastic anemia, okay? Not, on, uh, not only this, also remember that there is a, another enzyme which is called uh, dehydrofolate reductase. Dehydrofolate reductase. And this is, uh, enzyme can be blocked by methotrexate, MTX, which is a uh, cancer uh, or, or chemotherapeutic, okay, cancer treatment chemotherapeutic. So methotetr uh, methotrexate blocks the production of or, 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 or decreases the production of DNA. So this works in the, on, on malignant cells, okay. Also, methotrexate is used in rheumatoid arthritis. Don't forget that. Also, some antibiotics, antibiotics like trimetoprim can cause also this. So remember, methotrexate and trimetoprim also can cause megaloblastic anemia. And don't forget also 5-fluorouacil, which blocks it over here. This is also an anti-cancer drug. Okay. So, first of all, this is the first part. Decrease B12 causes megaloblastic anemia, okay? But how is the MMA connected to this? And it's a different uh, different uh, process. And this is a process uh, which, which is connected with the oxidation of fatty acids. So, so oxidation of fatty acids. And if I want to be more specific, B12 is crucial in conversion of the methyl malonyl coenzyme A into C 
succinyl coenzyme A. And you need B12 again. And in case you won't have enough of B12, you're going to have increased levels of methyl malonic acid. Okay? So in case B12 is decreased, I'm having megaloblastic anemia. And not only this, I'm having also increased MMA levels in blood. And this is how you, how you use the MMA. Uh, this, this reaction sort of focuses you to, to think of uh, B12 deficiency in case you'll find in, in the blood smear larger cells with uh, multinucleated um, uh, neutrophils. You're going to check for MMA, and in case this is increased, you can think of uh, megaloblastic anemia. Okay? So that, that's enough for this. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And as always, check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials. Thank you.